fuel. And I think we're good. And onwards to the next section, so... Eh. Oh well. Hopefully we don't get a big fight right now, because I'm not very strong. Excellent. I think we will. Your sensors pick up a large cruiser-class ship. Your crew reports an incoming transmission from the cruiser. Mind your own business, or we'll leave your entire crew stranded on a desolate planet. Okay. You're about to start charging your FTL drive when you receive another transmission. On second thought, we'll just kill you and take your ship. So, Infinite Space Mod, what it does is, if your ship is perceived to be a certain strength, then every time you enter a new sector, you get these really powerful mini-bosses. And, uh... This is like a... This is gonna be tough, I think. So, we'll go ahead and we use both drones right away. Um, I'm not gonna do any boarding, since we don't have the men to, to do that. We'll take out the... Shield room. To make sure that these... Look at that, he's got one, two, three weapons. What is that thing? I would love to know. Okay. Starting to whittle down the shields. They're not using their teleporter for some reason. He seems to be using mostly beam weapons. This is actually pretty easy. And now he's boarded. Got a hostile slug and a hostile mantis fire in the engine room. I think I know what this calls for. Retreat! Retreat to the med bay. That'll put out the fire and lure them into the med bay where we can safely fight. The ship explodes and you scrap what you can. Your crew was able to extract interesting data from the remains of their computer database. You find data indicating a planet in this sector was once occupied by an ancient civilization and may contain artifacts but may be guarded by a hostile ship. Also known as a mini-boss, another boss. Okay, let's close all the doors. Definitely need to repair the engines. I think the fire is out. I don't think we have any fires anywhere. Venting all of the oxygen is a very beneficial thing to do occasionally, in the right circumstance. Except for when you lose half your crew. Because, you know, you, sometimes you can lose half your crew if you run out of oxygen. I certainly don't want to go to the quest quite yet, not until I get more men. You find a slug vessel broadcasting the distress signal and, con and contact them. Ah, yes, we have been having problems with our oxygen generation unit. Perhaps your crew can assist us. Have my mantis oversee the repairs. Okay. Once on bo Oh, okay, so I get it. So we're sending over a saboteur. Once on board, it becomes clear that nothing is wrong with their oxygen. Almost expecting this, your mantis calmly responds to the trap. Once a couple of the slugs have been spread across... The walls of their ship, the rest surrender. <laughs> so they're like, trying to lure me over. So we send over a mantis. I don't know which one did it, but one of my guys just went over and apparently single-handedly killed them all. Or killed a bunch of them. That's funny as hell. Let's head to the store. Maybe we can buy one crew man. Come on, crew. Crew. It's a missile drone too. Fast-moving drone that repeatedly attacks the enemy ship with mini-missiles. Does that mean that it takes my, my missiles? I mean, it's a drone. Ooh, it's an anti-ship too. Ooh, I would love that. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six power. Versus five power on the weapons. Hmm. Mantis pheromones is always useful, but... I don't know if it's really necessary. Mantis are already quick, so... No, I think I'm gonna keep it, and um, 
I think it's too it's too much of a stretch to try to get to level eight drone control and try to get to level eight weapon control. So we'll just sort of stockpile money until I can actually do something with it. You intercept comm chatter from an incoming Mantis ship. Look, this ship appears not to be owned by the squishy ones. Maybe they won't smell so bad when we cut them open. <laughs> okay, come board me, I dare ya. Six. And target the... This will. This thing is gonna die like instantly. It only has five... Five hull. Close combat. They actually must have been upgraded too. <laughs> I liked it better when these guys were just my defense team. I didn't actually have to man stuff. You passively scan a small rock station that is next to the beacon. However, they must not have appreciated your curiosity. A rock ship pulls away from the station and you register an incoming teleporter signal as well. Three rock crewmen. Now, rocks still suffer from oxygen loss, so I'm definitely going to do the medbay thing again. They're immune to fire, but they still need to breathe. You can have your run of the ship. You can go anywhere you want. We'll just fight in the medbay. He sent over two more, good lord. Oh, right, so I should probably do the offensive thing, too. Um, turn the engines down a bit. We'll go hull laser on that level. That one on the shield room. Into ship. We're good to go. This thing would be pretty tough to fight if it wasn't for all this firepower. It feels like I'm fighting the mothership. Fix that. And we're starting to whittle down the shields. Actually, I'm going to send both of them on the shield room. I don't really care too much about the hull damage. I think I'd like to get the shields up more. Or, excuse me, the engines, the evasion. I think we handled that boarding party pretty well. And then from here, it's basically just sit and wait because uh, a lot of the attacks are automated. Put it on auto fire. Let them do their deal. Ha! The ship explodes. That was a much harder ship. I hope they're not all that hard. Gosh, that was tough. Tough compared to normal, at least. You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. NG are usually honest, so let's respond. You receive another... Oh, foolish meat sacks, he says. <laughs> Alright. All right, we have a boarding... Boarding guy. Wants to fight in the teleportation room, so we'll go... Five, six... One and two. Not bad. Distress signal. What is this? Something bad there. Quest destination. And another quest. Federation repair dock. Alright, well let's go check them out. We'll see what some of this stuff is. Even with three crewmen, I don't know. We'll see if we can actually handle it. 
You arrive to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it's a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. I think I'm going to go bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Still a lot to be explored. We have a lot of scrap right now. You spot a mantis ship hunting in the distance. Let's attack. You frown, power up the weapons, and prepare to engage the mantis ship. Not today. This thing is a big-ass ship. Look at this. It's got tons of weapons. It's got a bomb, missile launcher, lasers. Two-man teleportation pads, so we can expect to be boarded. We'll put out our drones. Focus on the shields, since he's got level four. It's going to be a, a lot of work to whittle down. And actually, I'm just going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to fight in the med bay. It's probably quickest to just do that. And then do this. Just vent the whole damn ship. That was a big missile. I could almost, maybe, maybe start to power up the glaive beam soon. Four damage, yeah, I thought so. Damn big missile. Man, the ship breaks apart, attempt to aid the civilian ship. The ship was you saved was badly damaged. Most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off at a nearby station. One offers to join. Yank, thank goodness. And it's a rock man. Cool. I need more crew. Where do I want the rock man? I guess probably he's pretty slow, even with the mantis pheromones. Oh wait, no, I sold those, didn't I? I think I kept him. Yeah. Liam, also known as Liam Nielsen. Okay, Grizzoli, go there. You can go there. Guess we'll put him on the shield room since this guy's already got some skill with, with engine operation. Now with all this money, um, let me see, are we close to a store? On the off chance that there's a store somewhere out here, I've just got to save it. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we'll go all the way through the nebula. And then back down to there. Yep, yep. An advanced automated ship remains stationed near a small space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Well, of course, we're going to attack it. It's easy to kill. Four hull. See, this is really weak. Really, really weak. Thirty scrap though, roughly. And a pike beam. Cool. Pike beam. Only takes two power. Cuts across entire ships, assuming there's no shield. Beam damage is reduced by one. Only does one damage. See, I can actually power the pipe pike beam like really soon. If I swap out the glaive beam. I only need one more weapon power. We can power the pike.